is presentation your header? Are you the type that is scared of crowd? Do you have issues when it comes to Microsoft PowerPoint presentation? I present to you the steps that will help you in making a killer presentation. The first step is preparing your slides, preparing your Microsoft PowerPoint. Remember that you are presenting an idea or an information to a particular group of an audience and you have to catch or you have to get the attention of the audience. How do you do that? When preparing your slides, don't go and prepare Word, Microsoft Word. Try and touch on the most important item, the most important information. Only touch on the most important thing or the most important point in your particular presentation. Don't go and add words, make your slides so lengthy of words and make it need so scanty. Remember that it's a presentation and therefore the most important points are supposed to be what highlighted. How do you get the attention of the audience? Is by making sure that you have pictures, you have videos, you have images in your presentation that is so catchy, that is so you know attractive to the audience. That is where you will be able to engage them throughout the presentation. So these you are supposed to take into consideration when preparing your slides. The next step is knowing your audience and then your first impression. Knowing your audience is very pertinent when it comes to every presentation. What is the caliber of people you are trying to address? Are they your program mates? Are they your supervisor? Are they going to use that particular presentation to judge you? Is Mark rewarded for that particular presentation? Then, knowing your, your audience will help you in the preparation of your slides and will help you in doing your presentation professionally. The first one minute, two minutes, five minutes into the presentation is very, very pertinent because it will help determine how you're going to get the attention of your audience throughout the presentation. How do you achieve that? You can use rhetorical questions. You can quote someone or you can even use proverb. That alone will tell the audience that you know what you are doing. Sometimes you can even show them a small video using your PowerPoint or besides you can show them some picture, some images or anything that is so attractive and related to your topic will help you in getting the attention of your audience. Remember that when you fail to get the attention of your audience at the early part of your presentation, then the rest of your presentation will have issues. Making any presentation requires some level of confidence. In building your confidence, you have to gather your thoughts. Remember that the amount of knowledge you have, the amount of information you can process at a time will inform your audience that you are prepared for that particular presentation. So getting prepared, having the adequate information and adequate knowledge in the subject area or the topic area you are presenting on is a very key factor that will help to boost your confidence. Many people, you know, stam or stammer or become frightened or scared of crowd because they lack the information or they lack knowledge on the topic they are presenting on. So to boost your confidence, try and have all the requisite knowledge on the topic, have the requisite information on the topic you are presenting on. If you are the type that have your hands shaking or your legs shaking during presentation, try and make some movement whilst presenting. Remember that you are supposed to have an eye contact with your, with your audience. 
not just one particular group of audience. Assuming we are, they are in three groups or three rows, try and have a movement of your eye contact from one location to the other so that your presentation will not feel like it's boring. It's very, very important and also build your confidence level. Remember to keep your presentation simple and do not read your slides to your audience. Remember that your audience can equally read your slides in case it is being projected or maybe you are reading from your phone or you have printed your slides out your audience can equally read what you are saying or even if you are reading for them they can equally do that presentation is not about reading slides that is why at the first point when you are preparing your slides make sure that you just highlight the key points take a point and talk to it try and give the audience the information on the topic without reading to them that makes you a professional presenter and will equally get you all the marks you are supposed to be awarded during the presentation do not read your presentation to your audience try and have eye contact with them engage them smile you know get their attention by touching on a point and speaking to it do not read your slides to your audience because they can equally do that some presentations are time bound that means you are given a specific time to present some 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes you have to pace or plan the pace of your presentation you don't have to rush through you don't have to also be too relaxed or talk slowly it has to be a normal you have to balance how do you do that you have to always know the important things that your audience are supposed to know the new ideas the new information you are presenting to them which of them is so pertinent that they are supposed to know touch on that and then try as much as possible to ignore the less important or less I important item that doesn't mean you ignore them completely you talk on them but you make it brief and simple and then you move on to the most important one spend enough time on that and make sure you work within time because sometimes if you work against time it may go against the mark you will end for that particular presentation so the above steps when taken into consideration will help you in making a killer presentation if you have any question, just leave it at the comment below and it will be attended to. Thank you.